Hello everyone. I just thought I'd demonstrate this knockout punch. It's a very simple little thing, but it works pretty well. Um, I need to do a bunch of holes in this uh, three millimeter aluminum. Uh, as you can see, I've got four of them done. Uh, to use this, you drill a hole, which is basically the same as the outside diameter of the threads there. You take this little thing, it's just a simple, great big chunky thread here. Uh, it's a metric thread, I think, probably like an M10 with a one millimeter thread. You take this piece, which of course has the, uh, the lovely little chewy bits on, and we're going to use the knockout punch to shear off this metal. Well, you just tighten it up underneath, and then you use an Allen wrench, and this, this works really well. You can uh, to, uh, to sort of increase your leverage and not hurt your hands. And it's actually a very simple job. I use this, this work to make this perfect for this. You kind of clamp the piece in there and then just start reefing on it. And you go about oh, half a dozen, dozen times. Eventually here it go. There we go. Sometimes you hear it do a little ping. In this case, it didn't do that. And you have to do it enough until it comes loose. And now you see the bottom piece has now come up to the top. Uh, at this point, it's easiest just to unthread. You've got to unthread it regardless. To, to get back into using it here, but unthread it to the point where it pops out. There we go. Each time you do it, it's a little bit different. There we go. So there's the, uh, the shearing piece. Here's the little knockout chunk that came. I can't remember the name of that. Sometimes I'll just grab another screwdriver or something and just kind of pry it out of there. Well, and voila! There we have a cute little chit. And then you'll notice this is greasy. I, I had one of these before that I managed to ruin because I was a complete neophyte and didn't realize that you had to keep this well lubricated. So what I've been using is just essentially regular gear oil. Interestingly enough, I think I use this stuff on my turntable. I'm not sure if I have on the turntable bearing, but it's just regular gear oil and I put a tiny bit on there. Just a tiny little line of it there. And then I just kind of screwed on this way. And I found that it keeps going for a lot longer if you don't run out of lubrication. So there you go. Very handy tool for creating nitric plugs. This is a 24 millimeter punch that I purchased at Amazon for I think all of $15 Canadian, something like that. And it very much does the trick. Much easier than trying to use a great big chonky bit to drill the, uh, the holes. I have also used in the past uh, stepped drills. They can work, uh, but this is a whole heck of a lot easier to do. Uh, so I do prefer doing it. I just thought I might share that with you in case anybody found that helpful. Have yourself a good day.